Um, this is the structure of the crystal structure of how BIM right here BIM binds to the, the rest of this, which is MCL1. So this is not BIM, but it's the BIM alpha helix, and you can see it's a long alpha helix. This lavender thing it has many turns. This is the amphipathic. This is the hydrophobic side. This is an amphipathic alpha helix. The hydrophobic residues jut in this way. Uh, the, sa the same thing goes with these alpha helices. The hydrophobic residues of MCL1's alpha helix 4, 2, and 5 jut into this hydrophobic groove, making a cozy pocket for BIM to bind to. Once again, this is BIM.